morning and welcome to our Mass here at St. Joseph's as we celebrate this solemnity of the Apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, and our entrance antiphon. These are the ones who, living in the flesh, planted the church with their blood. They drank the chalice of the Lord and became the friends of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sin, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on the solemnity of the apostles, Peter and Paul, give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands on some, upon some of the members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he, had, when he had saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had taken him into custody and put him to prison, under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made unto God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers. While outside the door, guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood by him, and the light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrists. The angel said to him, Put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, to him Put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. Then he passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley, and suddenly the angel left them. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Fear him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Look to him, that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard. From all his distress, he was saved. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearing. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed, that all Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth, the Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah. Still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the church honors these two great apostles, followers of the Lord Jesus. Peter, the prince of the apostles, Paul, that apostle to the Gentiles. And each of them had that personal and intimate experience and encounter with the Lord Jesus. Peter, certainly following our Lord during his public ministry, and Paul, having that first encounter on that road to Damascus. And in both of their lives, their different ways of encountering the Lord certainly changed their lives forever as they left everything behind to follow the Lord Jesus. And what sustained them 
was their continued openness of heart to what God wanted of them and to that relationship, that friendship, that bond with the Lord Jesus. And I know that from their places in heaven, as we honor them today, they want us to realize how blessed all of us are to have that same faith in Jesus the Savior, and that we're all called to commit our lives in the way that Jesus calls each and every one of us, and that through our witness, we may help the gospel to continue to grow and spread and take root in our time, and that hopefully we, like them, continue so that we can reach that eternal destination that they all want us to share in life forever in heaven. And so as we honor these wonderful saints, we pray that, like them, through thick and thin, through blessings and challenges, we may know that God's spirit rests within us, that we may do our part in whatever God calls us to, and that we may always have that faith that they show us, and not only have that faith, but be willing to do our part to share it. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and <clears throat> became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we honor the great apostles Peter and Paul, we come forward as church to offer prayers to our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis, successor to Peter, may the Lord continue to protect and preserve him as he leads our holy church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit grant them fortitude in their work for peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have a part to spread the gospel throughout the world, may they, like St. Paul, do so fearlessly and with great faith and hope and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are affected by this pandemic and that a vaccine may soon be developed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who gather with us here today for the prayers that we offer in our hearts and on our live stream, may the Lord continue to be with us in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they receive the crown of righteousness in the eternal kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intention of Pope Dufresne, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving God, hear the prayers of your church and grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the prayer of the apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration. And may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for by your providence, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, bring us joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each in a different way gathered together the one family of Christ and revered them together throughout the world. They share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Peter and Paul, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And in your spirit, too. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus replied, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul, made steadfast in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for he has made you steadfast in St. Peter's saving confession, and through it has set you on solid rock of the church's faith. Amen. Amen. And having instructed you by the tireless preaching of St. Paul, May God teach you constantly by his example to win brothers and sisters for Christ. Amen. So that by the keys of St. Peter and the words of St. Paul, and by the support of their intercession, God may bring us happily to that homeland that Peter attained on a cross and Paul by the blade of a sword. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.